Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Talk and Watches with Marco. No, just kidding. I'm freestyling. <laughs> no, this is not the episode. But I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight. I got, of course, my man, JJ LeCoup, JJ, the one and only. Of course, we got well, the captain, REG, making his first appearance on stream, Big Juan. Thanks for joining us. And we got, of course, Wings and Watches. Hello, everybody. How are you guys? Wonderful. <clears throat> Wonderful. Wow. Well. Doing good. Wonderful. Yeah. It was, uh, it was above zero degrees Celsius today. It was I know. Nice. It's, I was, it's like total t shirt and speedo weather, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. and, you know, wearing the Longines Big Eye. It's a perfect <laughs> combination. Go. Yeah. Great. Very yeah. quickly, just going to go through some of the chat. Oh, yeah. Quick nice. wristwatch check. What are we all wearing, Direct. gentlemen? Direct I've got, of course, the Bruce Wayne. Oh, He's got the homage PRX on. Is that PRX? Nice. Yeah, homage, PRX. I got the homage. And we got, I got to put a off on the full screen. Look at that. Oh, the one, that big one. Nice. I mean, That's that a is big welcome, man. Rubber. That's beautiful. A lot of rubber. I, gotta get, I got a lot of rubber. I got to get used to this camera thing. Nice. Got to love it. And speedy for wings. Very yeah. nice, nice, man. Oh. Here we go. So we got Mark P starting us off for the night uh, with an eight pound or just 10 pounds saying, have not have a great show, Marco, and thanks to you and the team for the great watch content with very little drama. Yeah, that's what it's all about. You know, I just want to – no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just want to talk watches. <laughs> FYI, I've never, ever said that. <laughs> You've never said it, but – I've it's never just said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's great. It's an imitation <laughs> of an imitation that never happened. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's but Mark – I just want to Mark talk about that. Absolutely nothing. Right? Actually, Mark has a uh, – Gen 3 overseas as well. I think that's his image, right? His display picture. He's got a blue oh, dot, wow. if I'm not mistaken. He got oh, that before like it, it started getting like super hyped up and reached crazy prices now. But Mark, thank you very much for the super chat. We got Thomas Anderson joining us saying he upvoted. Thank you very much. We got Danger Will Robinson in the chat. We got Wings and Watches. Hello, hello. We got your friend Mike saying he upvoted. Oh, super Her chat. I will get to it. Yeah. Uh, Perth Luxury saying he upvoted. Thanks for joining. Big Sal. We love Big Sal. <laughs> Danger saying Big Sal. we apologize for the delays in bringing this episode of Watches tonight with Marco. It appears Peruka has changed the Wi Fi password again. Yeah, don't let him <laughs> on the show ever again. We got yeah. George J saying he upvoted. We got Mick Lovin. Where is Peruka? Free Peruka. We got George J. Thank you so much. And we got Andres Borghetti, my goodness, starting us out with a $50 super chat. Wow. Good for you. Wow. Amazing. Good for you. Thank you very much. Yeah, right out of the gate. Wow. <laughs> Andres, thank you. That's very generous of you. Saying, evening, gents. Love your streams. Keep up the awesome work. Andres, I appreciate it, man. I'm going to lose sleep tonight just hold, thinking about your collection. Hold on, let me screenshot that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. That's very Already generous. got it. <laughs> super generous. I just want to get through a couple more of the chats and I just want to, by the way, Andres, if you have any questions, like there's nothing, there's nothing for us to address or answer. Please let us know down in the oh, chat. we got man. Todd Levin joining us. Hello, Todd. By the way, Todd, you should jump on a stream, man. It's been a while. If you want to jump on, I just drop the link and likewise. For oh, everybody. Darren, Darren, Darren. We've got Spence R. <laughs> we got, hello, Spence. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> BTB boss man, Duco Ted, Maynard Goff. Uh, we got, Juco Ted with a twenty dollars super chat saying drama. Okay, I'd like to throw some gas money in for the Canadian truckers. <laughs> Listen, I don't even know to be honest what is. I'm not really following it to be honest with you. The rumor is the rumor is Trudeau is going to be invoking emergency powers to to start bringing the army and clearing them out. That's All the right. rumor. So here's where it gets. When did when did our listen? I don't want to get into the politics debate, right? But I thought we had a constitutional right to protest. Did we not? I, I, do. I don't know. Like, you do. Without, without blocking international arteries, you do. Yes, yeah, right. That's yeah. fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. I, I, I have no issue. It, you know, you protest all you want. Hold on society. That's the main issue, I believe. Yeah. yeah. And so and so today the U.S. offered help to Canada, which really is translation being, you don't solve your own effing problem, we're going to solve it for you. So yeah. I, I hear there's meetings going on tonight in uh, Ottawa. Ahead. Let's put Duco it Ted, way. it's all your fault. Don't get us started, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really angry about this. Uh, it's, thank it's, you very much. Uh, Duco Ted, Mark, and of course, Andres. Thank you very much. Very kind of you guys. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, we got Rangers fan saying he upvoted. Thank you very much. Mick Lovin giving us our daily uh, <laughs> check of the Royal Oak. It's $93,000 $93, today. 
Oof. Cap, that, uh, you must be happy. That thing just keeps going up and to the right. Well, my right. I, I don't. I have to tell you, Mc, all right. I'm going to stop. Let me ask because this has been on my mind. I see McLovin posting this every day. <laughs> I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing this on the 15 300 McLovin. The the original size 39 mil. I'm not. See, Chrono 24 has not boosted the price. They're holding firm at about 53, which is you know, more than I ever thought it would be so, worth. So, you know, I was actually looking that up. 93000 Come on. $1,000. And you know what's crazy, right? It's ridiculous. Like, the sweet spot, in my opinion, is yours because it's the 39 mil. It's actually the first ever Royal Oak, funny enough, to have an integrated bracelet. Or, sorry, not an integrated bracelet, but an in-house movement, rather. So it's the first ever Royal Oak with an yeah. in-house movement. Crazy. I mean, that's that's I don't I don't get it. I don't get why price haven't caught. And it has hacking seconds. Yeah, and it has hacking seconds. And a quick yeah. change date, right? It doesn't have quick change date. And it isn't has quick the, change date. Yes, it does. Isn't the new one an it's homage to... It's better than the 15202. Right, exactly. <laughs> isn't the new one an homage to Cap's version also? Yeah, the new one. Yeah, but they're all homages to the PRX. So, I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> no, I don't, they're not homages to my version. Uh, which, which ones? I don't know which ones you're referring to. Wings. If we're talking the 400 and the the 500, the 15 400, 15 500, yeah, oh, right? Yeah, they're, they're all, all a little line. different. They all have yeah. the their yeah, little new on that line. Well, they went to the 41 mil case. Yeah, um, right. So we got Perth Luxury with the three dollar super chat saying for the cash register integration fund. Kaching, here we go. Thank there you, you very much. That one's <laughs> it travels. It travels just like how the Canadian truckers aren't. It's traveling. From stream to stream. There we go. Jeez. We got Todd Levin saying, I'm originally from Detroit. It's really messing up things on the U.S. side for the Ambassador Bridge. Huh. Interesting. Okay. We got Lucien Faith in the chat. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we got Jeff Lane saying, can't stop the Super Bowl. Ooh, yeah. That'll be fun. That'll be really fun. Uh, I can't wait for the Super Bowl. Although it kind of sucks. My guy got knocked out of the playoffs. We got Andres Spaghetti with a fifty fucking dollars super chat. What the hell is going on, what, uh, Juan? You got to come on stream more often. Wow. I think you're a good luck yes, you're, you're Special good guest. <laughs> yeah. Bring it in the donors for off sure. The competition, lol. <laughs> Andres, you guys are fucking nuts. You guys are absolutely insane. I really appreciate triple Andres calendar again. fund. Triple calendar fund. We will talk about it. You know what? We got to talk about it. Uh, it's all guys. All your donations are going to this right here. It's going to this. I, I need gotta, to get this one. It's a great. It's a perfect two. Just piece pull a trigger. It. I need yeah. to get this watch. I need it. I need oh, it in my life. Indeed. I need to inject it into my veins, and I just wanna. I just wanna keep it. Look after it. Pet it at night. Hoarding Actually, people. I don't want to do that. That's that sounds kind of weird. Three. I uh, remember three yeah. months ago that you could have picked that up for fourteen grand. I mean, Jay, I told JJ. Remember JJ? Before. David SW had one, and we probably could have negotiated down the price. I, we could have got it for 14. I was gonna yeah. buy it, and Marco was like, No, I, I want to get it down the line. I'm like, <laughs> line. It was sold like two days later. I was like, Unbelievable. Oh. But yeah, all I, I'm t- I I'm at the point where I'm like, Yeah, I, this is this is it. You know what I mean? Like if the sub from the AD comes, it comes, but uh this is I mean, this is awesome. I fuck I this, want this the plane is a great two piece for you. In fact, I would get the red just to have a little something different, the red letters. I mean the red num- numeral. I just prefer it though, JJ. Like I, I've seen both. I saw both in London. Um, they had both. They discontinued and one of those. The red one is actually discontinued now. Yeah. The red one is discontinued. Yeah, it and the continue. thing is, there's no red in your other watch, so it gives you a little something different, you know. Right, but it's also historically more accurate. So the original uh, model that it's, this watch is based off of actually had the red text. So that's why I also prefer it. Toyota Mo got the right one all along. Remember in the beginning, we were like, oh, you should, you should get the blue one. Yeah, no, the red, the red is technically better in my opinion. Andres, again, thank you. Very, very generous. $50, you're the man. Really appreciate it. Turtle Knight saying we need 15500 and 15300 price updates daily. There we go. Um. Duco Ted says they're giving the 39 millimeter away <laughs> as part of this at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> oh, uh, Spence R with the $14 super chat. Spence, thanks so much. You're the man. Saying, read section one of our charter. No rights are unlimited. Now that we've reached the end of my knowledge of constitutional issues, back to what? <laughs> there we go. We just got legal counsel. Thank you very much, Spence. I guess uh, we, we live in a free country that is not very free. <laughs> No, oh, definitely okay. not free. 
definitely not free. You live next door to a free country. Well, I can't even say it's free here either. <laughs> or else food. <laughs> Look at this. They're flaming you, cat. 39 millimeter ladies AP. Dude, oh, that 39 on. millimeter went down 20% each day. God, savagery. Oh, savagery. Guys, this guys is savagery. Cool. These guys are yeah. cool. I got to have my guys back. Todd says AP Royal Oak 39 mil quick uh, hacking seconds, <laughs> quick change day, 561,000. There we go. Oh. I can get that uh, George Daniels. I'm in. I tell you that the, the uh, 39 fit perfect. I tried. My friend has one. I tried it on. It was great. It was perfect. To be honest, guys, I mean it's funny the chat's it's blaming like me. They're, they're right. A 41 would fit my wrist better. To be quite honest, so <clears throat> I got to work on that. SLC watch <laughs> with a fifty dollar super chat. SLC, you are nuts, Jeez. man. Thank you so much. Fifty dollars. I mean, I don't even know what to say for the cash register. Let's give him one more for posterity. So. Value for money. Value Thank for you. Money. Again, guys, if you have any questions, please, 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 please let us know. Um, let's say sorry to get home today. We got Danger Will Robinson with a two dollar super chat. You guys are going nuts. More cash register noises, please. ka -ching. That's I swear, it. this cash register is a great idea. I think this is better than the green roll. <laughs> the green roll. And the little green guy were good, but now we've moved on. You know. Right. It's the cash register. It's been replaced. Whatever happened to that green roll? The green roll I sold to uh, Tim. Timothy oh, bought it. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, Timothy. Timothy. Timothy wanted to throw his Rolex in there, but I think he sold it again. I don't know. Um Little green guy went to Joe Kramer. I gifted that to him because he liked it. And uh, now we have a cash register noise. Nobody can get that from me. We got Andre Fang in the chat. Thanks for joining. Watch us 24. And uh, there we go. Now we're all caught up. Guys, again, thank you very much. Super kind. You guys are super generous. Really, really appreciate it. I think you guys basically in the last two streams paid for the PRX I'm going to be buying this weekend. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yes. I should have that watch within the next couple of days. Unbelievable. I can't believe I'm buying this. But hey. Why? It's good. It's a good. I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy it. It's fun. Yeah, it's a cool. Uh, listen, I'm not a big G Shock guy. That's the problem, JJ. And wearing a Bruce Wayne for, uh, for, for fun activities, you know, sporting activities is just not a good idea. So. Right. That was the whole point of this when you didn't want to wear something that looks like, and no offense, I'm not knocking it, but like a Seiko or, you know, um, yeah. something like a little more. Um, Formal is not a good word, but a little more like high high scale. Usable. Just like, usable for every day. Right. But it's definitely totally usable. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm wearing this tonight. I'm going to drop a little hint, but please, let's not give too much info out because tomorrow is the big unboxing, the big <laughs> unboxing going down. But I'm wearing this as a little hint to um, possibly a uh, color scheme of what might be coming tomorrow. Right. Ooh. There it's we go. The That's the only hints you guys are getting. That's large it. unboxing to date. That's the only hint I'm giving. So Actually, just confir confirming uh, for the crowd, because uh, there is concern, it is a watch. It's not a sundial. 100% a watch. It's not, it's not a um, salt and pepper shaker. It's not an uh, egg time. <laughs> it is uh, a watch. I don't even remember what this about. Same All right, so seeing as though we have a new member of the panel, uh, Big Juan, again, thanks for joining us. I guess uh, if you want, maybe just introduce yourself a little bit. Talk maybe a, a bit about what you got in the collection, what have you. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for having me on. Uh, 33 years old from Chicago, Windy City, Midwest, represent Todd Levin. He's from Detroit from Chicago. But uh, yeah, no, I am um, 33 in the car business. So similar, you know, luxury, luxury, right? Supply chain issues, no cars, no watches. So trust me. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, about three months ago, I basically downsized my collection. I was talking to Marco, you know, behind the scenes on the Instagram, sold off, you know, all my Panerais and, and bright lanes and, um, you know, I wasn't wearing them. So I downsized to my Bruce Wayne, um, which nice. I do wear to the gym. I was telling the guys earlier, this thing's missing like a piece of steel here from the side. <laughs> you can see this, but here, by the so, way, yeah, it's... massive respect. This dude wears a super luxury watch to the gym. That's for a sure, respect. for sure. You get the kudos for me. That's You're a, supposed to wear them. You're supposed that's to wear like a, That's right. a TPG class move. Very good. For sure. <laughs> well, I stopped wearing it after I noticed he was wearing them. But um, <laughs> no, so I downsized. I, I, I had that and then uh, left that and IWC Big Pilot. So I, I got an IWC Big Pilot in the summertime. Uh, the new one, 43, which 
now it's a blue dial. Wow, that. very that's nice. A piece. That's, that's a, a great piece. watch. But I gotta be honest with you guys. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade to the 46. I have bigger wrists, and my uh, one of my coworkers has a 46 millimeter uh, big pile at the 5002, I believe, or the first gen. And dude, that thing looks badass. It makes mine look really, really weak. Even though this does have an up upgraded movement and uh, the you know easy link change uh, the easy link uh, brace or whatever and adjust the adjustable uh, clasp or whatever but um those were like my two big watches that i had and then i just you know was on the list for an overseas and i got that uh went into Longa. Uh, i got a, a, a copper blue which i don't know if he is i've seen oh this. my god this, this is... is my only only dress watch in my collection oh, oh wow uh, dude oh. it's oh, out of that thing is, yeah. that's it Sparkling. i'm joking like, that's amazing <laughs> That's I'm a really cool. oh, nice oh, man. Yeah, this thing's sick. So I it's white gold, 39 millimeter. Where's more Jesus. like a 38 on me, but which is great because the they made one version there. which is actually much bigger. Um, I tried that bigger version they, on in London. It's huge, like it's too much dial. You know what I mean? That is probably they made the dial. black. Yeah, they made they made the black a black dial, um, right. like a gold flux. And um, you know, I I've seen that too, but I like the blue. The blue just pops a little bit more. And, yeah. um, yeah, I actually really, really like that watch. And it's like a sleeper, you know, no one knows what it is. Um, you know, I, I can't even, you know, like, I don't know about you, if you guys feel the same way, but everybody knows what Rolex is. So you wear it to right. work, you know, like the kids are like, Oh, can I borrow the Roly so I can put it on my Snapchat? I'm like, <laughs> sure, whatever, <laughs> you know, but that's what it is now. It's like, uh, it's status, yeah. you know, and it's a flex. You got to really flex care. on the, yeah, you got to flex on these guys. I hate it. <laughs> so, um, so you wear that though and nobody knows what it is and it's shiny as shit and you know it's, right. it looks cool what, what are what but, those uh, going for at the time did they shoot up a lot I retail second? yeah they're going yeah. up in price now so from what i understand they're uh like the boutique that i got it from they get a couple a year uh the dials uh they're very delicate so out of four dials that they make you know and i don't know say a month only one makes it because the other three break so uh they're pretty pretty rare i guess cool. and, it's, and, and, actually, and to be honest it's, it's go ahead no no sorry go ahead i cut you off no i was saying it's a good way to get into uh you know a harder to get piece right like in 1815 yeah. you know i think it's like a year in the half wait list now to get a white gold black dial you know 1815 chrono um, you know, Odysseus, you know, you need so much spend now, and that's a really good way to go ahead and get, get, in, get on that list. Right. So. Just real quick. I want to catch up on the chat because we are very behind now. we got Perth Luxury with $2 super hit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please add the sound of bear whinging about $70,000. LOL. <laughs> well, thanks for that. I appreciate that. The $70,000. Uh, we got Toyota Mo with the twenty dollars super chat Mo. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. It's Thank really you. Nice. Cash register noise fund. Also the PRX fund. Every collector needs a PRX. And also welcome Big Juan to the madness. Yes, the watch collecting madness. And Dress Brigetti saying Juan, welcome to the side of the community. Um, <laughs> Duco Ted says Big Juan. I'm jealous of that side. <laughs> I agree. That side is pretty. Dude, I had I had a beard awesome for like five years i never shaved and i to piss off my girlfriend i just shaved everything but the mustache she hates it <laughs> omar says don't believe it big juan is 100 percent an army recruiter stop it omar <laughs> look at this slc says that dial is stunning i'm sure it is he's stunning to it the is. longa can we do that one more time real quick i i, I have yeah i, mean, I, have that in I that gotta pull you up full screen you want to hear I just want to see it. Are you are you wearing that to the gym too? That would be a no. Big that'd be a major flex. <laughs> that'd be a major flex. Yeah. Very cool. Nice. Yeah. Duco Ted saying it's beautiful. Turtle night. Look at that sparkle. <laughs> Basil's bezels. It's all about the dial. The dial. <laughs> uh, we got. Why you got to see it in person. It's awesome. I, I, the adventure. I mean, the sparkle of adventure is so nice. It's incredible. Todd saying, "Why does the AP code have to only be considered a dress watch?" I don't get. It's definitely like a sports casual. Like it's definitely a dress casual, rather. You know what I mean? Like more of like a khakis uh, and a polo type watch. Does that make sense? Like a dress like, casual, you can wear a dress like up, a, wear a dress nice down. Jeans. Yeah, it's it's like a yeah. sporty dress watch. Yeah. Sporty right. dress watch. Yeah, you know. 
Right. We got Toyota Mo with a five dollar super chat saying, "Yeah, yeah, that Longo is cool." All I want to know is, do you have a PRX? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, thanks oh, so much. Man, awesome. I gotta get one too. Until we get a PRX, we're just watch enthusiasts. Nice. We're not collect. We're not. Jesus. You can't be a real collector without a PRX. We got Perth Luxury with the two dollars super chat saying Jonathan Quail Higgins the third has joined the chat. Perth and Jonathan, if you guys want to jump on, by all means, we'll drop the link. I think again. He's saying that because he pulled out a longa. That was from when. He oh, pulled out. okay, gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Todd saying apology. Start. Oh, yeah, right. So why does it only have to be considered a dress watch? That's what I'm saying. I think personally, right, there's nothing better to flex a dress watch while wearing a hoodie. You know what I'm saying? I think a hoodie and a dress watch oh, sure. is like the <laughs> ultimate flex. Like you wear a complicated piece or a very expensive, you know, dress piece with a hoodie. I think that's where it's at. Listen, I'll tell you one thing. I'm definitely wearing this with a hoodie. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be sure. sweet. So, uh, I can't oh, is that, that. that going to be the trend? Dress is the new oh. sport. Mark, dress, gonna watches gonna, <laughs> dress watches are gonna dress watches the dress watches are on the way back. They're I think they come back. They really are really very nice. I mean, sports watches are you know I I get it because I you know like sports same equation like the sports cars you know, but I mean these these some of these watches just built such amazing builds on them. I mean, they're they're stunning compared to the sports models. Are very nice, you know, they're very sporty, but there's only so far they can take them. You know, so I was looking at I, I usually don't do this. Right. But I was looking at Chrono 24 prices of of my collection, um, which typically actually never happens because I don't really not for the watches, at least that I have now. Um, but I, ha I was looking at the GMT price. Right. So I'm Canadian. So it's like 30,000, 31,000 Canadian. So let's call it even at like, you know, 20, let's call it 23, 24 US I'd get. Right. That's insane. You know how basically you get this the triple calendar right here. So you get a handmade case, a handmade uh, movement, hand finished movement, Geneva seal from a Holy Trinity brand for less than a GMT. Basically, I mean, it's crazy. Like I think about it, it's just crazy how the how the market has evolved. We got Andres Borghetti with a two dollars super chat saying, "I agree. Every collector should have a PR. That'll be your de facto gym watch. Let's stop. Let's stop wearing the best. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Like like I said yesterday, I didn't want to. Uh, I don't want to admit JJ is kind of right, but uh, calling it a destination wedding watch is uh, close. It's a vacation watch. <laughs> I, yes. I'll, I'll admit that, JJ. I'll admit that. I'm glad you guys are coming around to my theory. <laughs> wedding Here we watch. Go. SLC oh, watch collector. Oh, Lululemon vacation. and the 5170P yeah, is that. my jam. There we go. You hear to hear it first. Someone needs to mute themselves. SLC watch collector. Lululemon. Oh, wait, one second. Who's that? We got it? We're all set. Okay. We got Toyota Mo saying, damn, it's okay, Big Juan. You almost had a kick ass collection, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, now it sucks. Exactly. I want to pull this up from Todd because it's funny. He sent me this picture, right, of him. See, Todd is now flexing on all of us because he had an episode of Talking Watches, right? Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One second. Let's pull this up. Here he is with a hoodie wearing a George Daniels on talking watches with Hodinky. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty kick ass. That's you really got like that is pretty cool. Dressy, you know what I mean? I wasn't. Well, you said a hoodie. I was picturing. Yeah, that's not really a hoodie, though. Come on. That's, a, <laughs> that's <laughs> sorry. Calling this a hoodie. A, I see a hoodie. That, that's a, a casual hoodie. uh that's a casual relaxation uh yeah i mean like outfit. it's about as hoodie as like a three-piece suit gets to casual <laughs> like this is a very dressed yeah. up well, that, that's how i think yeah i could picture wearing it like this but not with like a regular hood i would never wear it with like a regular hood nah that's nah, really perfectly nice oh yeah. here we go I'm not we 20 need to make it a requirement for every panel member to own a prx hey i'm i am it's coming soon coming it's soon coming, right coming soon <laughs> So this means I got to get a PRX now. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Are they easy to get? Can you just order one online? You can just order them. You can just order them. You can yeah. get it on Amazon. Okay. okay. Didn't you one of the on uh, so no guys. So oh, no I, did. I bought it from yeah, my I'll give a, Whoever wants to buy me one, I'll give them my PO box and they can send it right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cap. I bought mine from my Rolex AD. Hey, we're, so. we're unionized now. Something else to buy. <laughs> yep. Right, exactly. You got You should get it, in my opinion, from Rolex City if you can. Obviously, if they sell it, you know, might as well. Um, yeah, he can still give you a discount on it. Like Amazon's not going to give you a discount. So, 
Right. But it also gives like the salesperson a sale, which is, you know, it's always nice. But right. They'll always, they'll always right. remember that. Another little, a little, another little notation when they look up your history. There, you For know sure. I mean? Purchase history. Here we go. Big Sal. I think the strap makes a big difference on Longa. I think he has an up down, actually. It's a gorgeous piece. Uh, brown leather makes it more casual, and croc makes it more formal. Yeah, definitely. Andres says, I'm, yes, you should keep the Cellini moon face, 100%. I think that's such a beautiful – listen, Rolex isn't known for their dress piece, but I think the Cellini moon face is gorgeous. It is cool. It is so nice. Hold on. Let's pull it up. Yeah, it is a beautiful watch. My only gripe about it is not even about the watch itself. I think the watch is beautiful. My only gripe is if you have so many like sports watch from Rolex, it's like, do you really need another one in a dress watch? You could finally venture out to get something else. Right. But in a vacuum, I mean, it's. I think it's. I've tried this yeah. watch on. It's beautiful. Well, that's it's, it's it's brand commitment, you know. Just true. Get get everything Rolex. Oof! Look at this. We got your friend Mike. Unless I'm doing a very sweaty run or boxing, I'll wear my sub doing anything. Unbelievable. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. You're supposed to keep these in immaculate condition. These are luxury items, okay? Luxury items. Uh, Todd, God damn you guys. It's a cashmere hoodie. Yeah, that's not a hoodie. Come on. That's not a hoodie. If it's cashmere, <laughs> it's that? not a hoodie. It's not yeah, like a – it's not hood wear, you know? <laughs> Big Sal with the $10 super chat saying, after seeing Big Juan's collection, I'm changing my name to Little Sal. <laughs> no, stop it. Stop it. Oh, I appreciate awesome. the super chat. That's very kind of you. Um, yeah, so Juan, any pieces on the horizon? Anything you're looking to get in the future? So – yeah, so I have um, I have the Kermit, the new one, or Starbucks, whatever you guys call it. That should be coming in soon. I uh, my ED called me. He had offered me a a date sub, a Sabarator date, a couple weekends ago on a Sunday. I passed up on it, which in hindsight I should have probably bought it because I realized we're trading for double retail. <laughs> Pretty I much, like, almost. Oh, I didn't think it was worth it. I thought I was gonna make like a grand or two, but whatever you know and uh so i have that coming in that'll be soon uh pepsi as well this year so those will be my two my two rollies for for the year i have a 50 167 which i've been waiting for that for a long time and uh i think uh my the the ad told me that uh, it'll be a stretch to get it in around june i'm getting married in june so i'm also going to have it for my wedding yeah thank you thank you but uh, I said it'd be a stretch and say, you know, inventory. And then a Snoopy. I have a Snoopy that'll be here pretty soon. So that's awesome. Those are the things wow. that I have on order now. But, and then that. a PRX. Oh. PRX now. now I gotta yeah, add the PRX. PRX, you got to add that one to the list too now, right? That's that's yeah. the biggest one. You got to tell them you need the Aquana for the honeymoon because you're going to be going in the, you know, diving and stuff. JJ, JJ I'm <laughs> trying, dude. I'm trying. I tried bribing this guy. I'm like, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh did boy! You try, did you try threatening him yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with, with a bad Yelp review, you know, you got the button pushed. Yeah. Sometimes uh, you know you got to either what is it called the uh, the carrot or the stick, you know. Mm -hmm. you, oh, we got either, the Lone Star either, either watch enthusiast in the chat. Thanks for joining. Us. Hello, hello. Yeah, I mean, listen, those are all I mean, like insane pieces to get, especially at retail. If you're getting all these at retail, like, is no brainers. You know what I mean? Just absolutely sure. no brain. Hundred <laughs> percent. Roy B wants to know what scent does he need. <laughs> you know what? I think oh. Big Sal, or sorry, Big Juan. Hmm. Interesting. Do you like any fragrances, Juan? Or you don't wear you don't wear that. Dude, I, I just started getting into it. No, I mean I started getting into it by watching you guys. I I don't. I've got like uh, I got Is it that hot, uh, cold or seasonal by you. He's in Chicago. Cold. Chicago. Oh, Chicago. So seasonal. Same as New York, pretty much. Uh. You want to go high end, or you want to dip your toe into the pool? What's the uh, what's what's high end, or what? what? I mean, uh, I mean, you could find a pretty decent uh, deal on um, around two hundred or so, two twenty five, some in that range. If you get it from like a discounter instead of like you know, if you go to uh, like um, like Nordstrom's, they're gonna hit you off the head for like yeah. three fifty. But you know, you you could probably you could always find like the more popular stuff that's been out a couple of years uh, at, at discounters. Um, gotcha. Probably like late Leighton is good by Parfums the Marley. It's <laughs> yeah. good for this weather. Or I would I would start with that or Aventus by Creed, you know. Yeah. Start with one of the basics. I've got like out. Mont Blanc, I got like Dior, like I got like yeah. the main the main stuff that I get at Bloomingdale's like that that kind of stuff. But right. Right. 
I like to start somewhat with like one of those two because they're kind of mainstream. Uh, I mean, you could still tell they're they're like niche fragrances, they're higher end, but they have a mass appeal scent, like um, scent profile, like a like a designer uh, fragrance. So it's a good way to break yourself in for like you know about two fifty or so. Hmm. Awesome. Yeah, I think Layton is probably ideal if you're like at least for niche fragrances, probably. The Besides Aventus, obviously, because Aventus is like somewhat obvious. If you don't want to smell like everyone else, as they say in the fragrance world, right? I don't want to smell like everybody else. Probably late. I mean, Leighton is still very popular, but definitely more niche than Aventus. And we got Roy B with a five dollars super chat saying, "Marco, my man, JJ, my boy, thank you for joining us, Roy. Always appreciate you in the chat." We got Javier Estada saying, "Gets getting soon, Omega Seamaster Aquaterra in the blue strap. Nice, that's an awesome watch. Yeah." Can't say anything. Lone Star watch enthusiast saying the PRX is king. It definitely is. Yes. No question. The king of the watch community. The king of the watch community. Lo <laughs> He's following up with a $2 super chat. White Sox, obviously. Are you a White Sox fan? Big White Sox baseball? fan. Big White Sox fan. What's going I on with the baseball. lockout? Is there still going the lockout going on? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's I haven't really happening. been keeping up with it recently, but I yeah. think it's still happening, yeah. I think they're fighting over Universal DH now, but it's not looking good for uh, starting the season. Mm, damn, like that kind of sucks. No, another disappointment, you, just like anything else that's happening right now. You know, know what? I, I'm not. I'm totally not up to speed on that with uh, what's happening in baseball. Yeah, what is the lockout surrounding? Because uh, it's a new contract. Contracts were up, so they have to go into negotiations. Yeah. Um, but like pitchers and catchers report after Valentine's, they, they're supposed to. So it's like. There's no shot that that's going to be on track. It's either going to be a delayed season or possibly no season. Jeez, I think I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna go the whole season. I think they're gonna drag it out uh, a couple days to a week past, like when they're supposed to report, just to see if any, you know, play a little chicken, see if anybody jumps. But they're arguing over, you know, like everything, so it doesn't look very close to being resolved. Okay, that's too bad. Yeah. We got Big Sal saying you need the high end fragrance. Once she has the cuffs on you, cough cough. I mean, married. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, we got Khaled asking, "How much is my watch worth?" Everyone gives me different prices. Omega Speedmaster, Michael Schumacher, eighteen karat rose gold, limited five fifty five. Can't find it online. I mean, uh, there's actually one going up on Sub Sotheby's. I see right now. The estimate is eight thousand to twelve thousand Swiss francs, so around that much. So like maybe on the high end, you know, you get what's twelve thousand Swiss francs. It's like twenty grand U.S. I think, right? Maybe less. No, it's only a hundred and ten percent of U.S. So add ten percent. It's, it's about thirteen grand U.S. About thirteen thousand U.S. Yeah, that, I, I don't. Those estimates on Sotheby's, you know how they blow through those when they actually do an auction. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, but it's a. I mean, like it's a speedmaster. It's not going to go like twenty times over. You know what I mean? I know. And it, it is an auction, so auctions will fetch like the highest case scenario, right? So yeah, yeah. maybe at most you'll get thirteen, fourteen thousand US. It's not more than fifty. Most gold? No, no, no. I think it's going to be higher. You think so? I mean, I don't. I, do. I don't know. I do. If it's the same one I'm looking at here, there's one on Watchbox right now for thirteen. Okay. You know who might know? Where's Perth in the chat? Yeah, Perth is a big Schumacher fan. Yeah, if yeah, anybody knows. Uh, yeah. right. He loves the AP Michael Schumacher. <laughs> exactly. What he talks about. I mean, it's I don't know. Like it's it's hard to say. I can't find it either. But I, I could just tell you here. I could pull up the Sotheby's. Actually, someone said eight and eight point five. No, that sounds too low. Lone Star Turtle Knight. Are, sounds like are those the deep. ones with? Are those the ones with the racing dial? The Schumachers. I don't know if it's this one exactly, but it seems like it, right? Pink gold Schumacher limited edition. I think it's this. I think they're like 39 millimeters or something. <clears throat> oh, shit. I don't have pulled up. Sorry about that. There we go. There's one on, there's one on for 11.4 right now. There you go. Hmm. Yeah. Roy asking, does anyone ever visit Texas? No, I don't think so. I, actually, I don't know. I do. I I'd to, love uh, to visit. I, I wish I could bar. go eat some barbecue. I want to have some. I want to get fat going to Texas. <laughs> I went there. My friend took me for these thing called kalashis. I think they call. They're like hot dogs in a. They're like breakfast hot dogs. Is the only way I could describe them. <laughs> this place is terrible for your heart. You'll you'll die here real fast. 
Um, I go a little north of Houston, my friend lives, and uh, it's fun. I, the first time I went to Houston, we went to a gun show. Everybody's just walking through the streets with, like, you know, rifles on their shoulder and shit. Like <laughs> it was like, I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? You know, I'm yeah, to, that like, wouldn't fly in New York City. Like, yeah. Well, it kind of looks like Manhattan, but, like, smaller and much cleaner. Um, but at the time, anyway, when I was, was a couple of years back. And, yeah, there's just people walking across the street with, like, guns on their over their shoulder. It was just very, uh, very weird. We got the Lone Star Watch enthusiast with the $2 Super Chat saying he's a lifelong White Sox fan. Hey, man, I, w- I mean, I usually only really watch the World Series, to be honest with you. Like, it's – I just like watching, like, high-level competition, if that makes sense. I'm not a big baseball fan, but – Go Blue Jays. Blue Jays and Yanks. Ah, forget yeah. Blue Jays. They suck. Blue Jays and Yankees. The yes. Canadian team sucks. Got 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 good, the Raptors good. got so lucky White Sox had a good one. White Sox had a good call. Sorry, go yeah. ahead. White Sox had a good ball club. World there Series last year. A lot of young, a lot of young, good, really talented oh, players. Yeah. On. Joe Cortez says, "Please say that again." <laughs> oh boy, yeah. So I want to pull this up. Um, somebody in the chat actually just mentioned it. it was George. George saying, "What's this new Zenith all Marco?" Yeah. So they just did. So I'm surprised because I saw this from Alex. Right? Alex shared this in the WhatsApp group. Now this was a watch. It's called the Cover Girl from Zenith, and they had released this version—not this version, but a different version—back in 2020 in steel, and it was a limited edition for the Rake magazine, which is, um, you know, Waco Revolution, uh, and now they just did a second one with Revolution. Now this one is in titanium, but it's, it's the exact same watch. It's just in titanium. Uh, it's a 250-piece limited edition. I don't get why they do it. I mean, you literally release one in steel and then you just basically make the same watch, but in titanium. So like, it's kind of, I don't know. It seems like a cash grab from, uh, from, from Zenith and from, from revolution, but Hey, what am, what am I to, uh... they're, they're, It seems like they're really milky in that case design. Yeah. They've come out with a ton of very, so this is like, probably one of the more collectible. Like Bamford's got one. Right. I mean, this is one of the more collectible ones from Zenith. Um, especially this dial, the specific dial, like the cover girl is super, like, I think there's only maybe a thousand of the, the vintage pieces circulating. Um, so yeah, this one is super collectible, but I guess they're just milking it at this point for sure. Your friend Mike says, I'm really warming up to Aventus. The Musk reminds me of something older, maybe Gucci Noble or Safari. Then I finally started to get pa- pineapple after it's up. Yeah. So also your friend Mike, there's those batch code variations, right, JJ, where you can get one that's more musky, one more pineapple-y, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Some are more smoky, some are more sweet. It's uh one of yeah. the few fragrances that I know is like different quite a bit from batch to batch. It used to be. I don't know. I think they kinda smoothed everything out now, but in earlier earlier years, a couple of years back, it was kinda like that. Right. We got Roy B with a five dollar super chat saying this is for the lead. Thank you. All right. That's very kind of you. Mm-hmm, man. <laughs> uh yeah, Turtle Knight says limited and probably sold out, probably. Mike David says bracelet. Yeah, the bracelet. So this ladder bracelet, the clasp on it is so bad. Let's see if I can't find a picture of it. Do they show the clasp? Um no, it's they don't. Like a big space. Like, you know what I mean? In between the, the head of the watch and the bracelet where it meets. Yeah, I mean, I just don't like yeah. it. Period. I think it's like jiggly. Um, Jingly jangly you got. Here we go. So this this is the, the bracelet, right? Now you see there's this like little thing right here. Right. That's how you pull up the watch, right? So you have to dig your nail and pull it up. I mean, I literally almost ripped off my nail trying to <laughs> trying to take uh, take off the clasp. It's awful. It's the worst bracelet in the world, and it feels super cheap. It's it's not a good bracelet at all. Um, wristwatch hall. This is Alex saying the old one was with a lever strap. You meant the previous year? Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't like it. I, I just don't like the fact that they're re-releasing old watches that they just released, and it's the same watch, just a different case metal. Um. Ten thousand four hundred for this? Uh, Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't even know what to say. We got Toyota Mo with a five dollars super chat saying, "Marco, I was wrong about Green Irish Tweed. You and Spence are right. After wearing it the whole day, Becky and Accounting says she loves it. I always agree with Becky. There we go. I'm telling. 
I think Green Irish Tweed. I know JJ likes Royal Oud. Royal Oud is probably his favorite Creed fragrance. Uh, yep. It is also definitely the most unique um, because there are other green scents out there. But I think Green Irish Tweed mm. is the king of creeds. It's so good. It smells amazing. I haven't worn that in forever. I've been trying to get through all the, the samples. I've been wearing Leighton and Herod. Today I'm wearing actually Dolce & Gabbana the one. I sprayed it on. Three hours later, I, sp- I smelled nothing. So I had to reapply. I still smell it. I put that on today too. I, it was <clears throat> my dis- – my, uh, what yeah, did I call it? The Siage. So, I want to smell so, it in the Siage. So strange. Like, Strange. I, I smell myself today, and I smelled like myself. I guess it's because I didn't <laughs> I didn't put on anything. <laughs> oh boy, what are you gonna do? Yeah, Ari, yeah. one day we'll get you into fragrances. What do you all think? Right. Yeah, and I'll be hardcore. I'll have like I'll put in my uh, linen <laughs> closet here the you know all my fragrances exactly. Right. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Okay, I, I do want to bring up one other watch. I know we talked about it a little bit on your stream, JJ, but I think this watch is going to be hugely popular. I'm telling. I think it will sell out. Like, mm. it will sell double retail over the next few years easily. Before easily. we get into this, real quick, can we just say congratulations to our buddy Solis yes. for... Uh, oh, yes. Solis mm-hmm. Art. Um, yeah, Muzzle Tov. Very yeah, good. He just yeah, got yeah. engaged today. That's... Yeah, big congratulations to Solis Art. That's awesome. You are the man. Thanks for sharing those pictures with us on the yeah. Yeah. on the WhatsApp. Beautiful, that was really cool of you. Yeah. 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 Beautiful, yeah. Certified diamond. Yeah. Really cool. Ooh, David T saying PRX, who makes it? Tiso. Yeah. All right, so this or the Tiso? Let's debate. Oh, <laughs> come on. I mean, <laughs> we, this is not a debate. I was watching actually. Actually, that blue is really nice. Hold on, hold on. Go to that blue. This is a terrible. I hate the blue. I hate this blue. Oh, you're crazy. It's so nice. Dude, uh, this, I don't this like is this really little, nice. The, the blue like is really one. nice. Look at this. You know, my only thing with these is the C gets lost, like the writing gets lost in the dial at times. A little bit. That's yeah. my only thing. A little bit. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair <laughs> criticism. But, but but you know what? I'll take this over. Uh, I would probably take this over PRX. Well, yes. I mean, yeah. come on. <laughs> I think I think the salmon is better, but I would take this as a close second if I couldn't get salmon dial. Listen, I'm sorry. I think the blue is... It doesn't look good. Like baby blue on a dial, I think this is this will go out of style very quickly. You think so? Opinion. You think you'll get bored of this? Let's get yeah. Juan's opinion. Juan, since baby. you're the new guy, your opinion Listen, matters I, the most. I got to disagree with you, Marco. I like the blue. Fuck, like you're blue. kidding. This now is a I, nice I blue, like Marco. Yeah, this I is take the blue. salmon. I will take the salmon over okay, the blue, okay. but the blue's nice. I was about to say, I have to put you backstage. It's been fun to have you on, but you <laughs> yeah. saved yourself. <laughs> that's <laughs> you saved that's right. <laughs> we all have to kiss the ring a little while at first. Then uh, then you can give your opinion. Yeah, that's right. Look at Omar saying, I have grown three inches since buying a PRX. <laughs> Thank you, Omar. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's, it's good. Where, Omar? Where? Here we, right. look, yeah. we got somebody who actually has taste in the chat. Roy saying the right. blue is trash. All right, one second. I'm going to ban. Oh. Uh, I'm going to ban Roy. Hold on. <laughs> See, this one is just the writing. I, I struggle to be able to read it automatically. I think this looks uh, so on good. certain angles, but what's his name? Uh, salmon, actually, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Swiss sent me a picture of this. It's actually not even salmon though. It's like a gold dial. Yeah. It's very reminiscent of. You ever seen the royal oak? Like yes. the salmon royal oak. Here, I'll pull. Yes, up. yeah. It's, that's a gorgeous watch. The only problem is very like, reminiscent of that. The light. This looks like a basketball because it gets that art really hard. Oh, would you stop it? I can't unsee it now. I can't unsee it. You're right. I, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I think it looks oh, that's the most pixelated picture. Ever. I know. Right. What is this? He always picks the worst pictures. Even on his own. It looks exactly yeah. like this. No. Same kind of same that's color that. dot. Same yeah. color dot. $140,000. Right. Something so around there. Imagine- Go back to that chat back because I was watching Bruce Williams. Bruce, Bruce Williams. Williams. About a year ago, he did a uh, a very a very good video on this watch on the chat pack, uh, chat pack a- Antarctique. I think the number on the dial on the on the date. They said that that's off center and it looks off center here. It doesn't mm-hmm. align. Yes, they're they're not really basket weave, but it's like a basket weave type of pattern. If that makes sense, it's not I would, exactly. I would I like that this, green, this, so it looks like dragon scales, you know. Yeah, but that's a different. It's a different dial variation, though. But then the movement, right, has a micro rotor. 
but and gorgeous. Wing, and you see all those finger style bridges. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I think nice. this is awesome. This looks yeah. so. This watch will be double retail in six months easily. I mean, it's sold out. It, that this watch completely sells out. That movement's reminiscent of uh, the, the Grunefeld movements in there. You know what? Actually, guys. you're not wrong. If I look at, so I'll pull up the Principia, right? I'm actually thinking about mm -hmm. it uh, by Grunefeld. The Principia if it had a micro, that, uh, if it had, if it had a, a micro rotor, it'd be the same. Looks Actually, nice. you're, you're right on the money, to be honest with you. Oh, wow. Oof. You're right on the money, to be honest. Not on. That watch is badass. That's fucking amazing. I it's love it. It's beautiful. The Principia is like $60,000. Mm. Dude, Dude I told JJ. JJ, you remember I told you? And he wanted to get the baby blue one. It's like almost a Tiffany blue one. Here, hold on. I'll pull it up. I have it. Oh, again. I didn't want to get the diamond one. one. You have a second yeah, chance. Blue. I got the chat back. Yeah. Here we go. That I didn't want to get the sound for more. I told this one right That's here, right? Now. I told him to get this 70, right here. 000. I mean, it's 70 grand. It's like 30,000, 35 crazy. grand at retail. It was, 30, it was 35. Yeah. And I wanted this one because I'm waiting for the Jorn that has the salmon dial. So I was like, oh, this would be cool to get in, and then like in this color. And then I just never did it. Oh, well. You snooze Big your Big Sal, Navy Blue's my... Yeah, I like the traffic. Navy Blue Navy's, well. You can't go wrong with the Navy. The thing about the uh, Baby Blue, it's a summer It's a summer color. So it's going to pop. It's going to look awesome in the summer. But right. year-round? Mm. It's a little tough. It is a little tough. Oh. In my, it's harder to match. Cool. With the, I guess the, yeah, the salmon's probably more wearable, but they have quick change, quick change straps, too, on the, right. the chat bag. Which is awesome. SLC watch collector saying, JJ, just walked to the mailbox. Creed Green Irish Tweed showed up safe. Smells amazing. And packaging was next level. Awesome. Sweet. Glad we all love Green Irish Sweet. Tweed here. So, Mo, that is thank, good to hear. thank God you came aboard. Yes. Spence R saying, Mo, Mer glad you came around. It is the king. I agree. Spence is right on the money. It's the king. It's the king. Wristwatch Hog says, he loves and dreams. Tweet. Excellent packaging. You know what I mean? <laughs> Save that box. Right, save the box. Yes, good idea. But yeah, I think in no time, to be honest with you, um, that chat pack, let me pull it back up, will sell double retail. Now listen, it's interesting because it's already sold out and Chapek is a relatively you know, unknown, they're a niche or boutique brand, let's be honest. They call it what yep. it is. Mm -hmm. um, and for them to sell out of their watches is pretty, like that's very impressive. They've only been around like maybe a decade at most, not even. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. Did you see the new one has like 12 o'clock? It has a 12 at the top? Yeah, you can get different. So you can get different dial variations. Hold on, let's pull it up. Let us pull it up. There we go. So they give you like a ton of different. Oh, here, I can just. Um, no, here I'll just zoom in. Right, so you can get it like this with this type of second hand. You can also customize like the top if you want this. Um, you can obviously change the dial color you want. Um, this the ice blue here, and then the black here, Great and then you can good. even change like the type of hand style. So if you want a full red second hand, silver, red tip. If you want a brush bracelet over polish, which I would get actually brushed all around i think it's much nicer and then you can choose if you want rubber leather as an additional strap i mean it's it's pretty cool you basically get to customize your entire your entire antarctique but twenty thousand swiss francs is it's not cheap either right so now what what do they uh, come out in batches like let's say you want to order you have to wait for the next time they announce it or whatever yeah because everything is sold out now if i'm not mistaken i'm actually I'm just I, I don't know how how it goes. We'd have to ask Jonathan to be honest with you. Jonathan probably knows more than yeah. you do because he's getting one. Uh, Logan yeah. Hall is in the chat saying evening, gentlemen. Hello, Logan. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Logan. Hey. Go ahead, Cap. I'm not sure it was it was Chapek, but uh, they're a Phoenix brand, correct? Like they they came about ten years ago in like 2010. Yeah, around some. Sometime. And was it was it through a GoFundMe campaign? Did it I was actually that? a Kickstarter, if I'm not mistaken, actually. All right. Yeah, so it was or some, some kind of thing like that, right, where it was a bunch of people. 
was there's a bunch of people in the watch community, if you will, um, that wanted them to make watches again because Chopek is actually linked with, I can't remember if it's the Paddock side or the Philippe side of Paddock mm-hmm. Philippe. Yeah. Um, I think it's the Paddock side, but they actually used to be business partners before Paddock joined. It is Paddock, yeah. Right, so before the Paddock side of Paddock Philippe joined the Philippe side of Paddock Philippe, that's a weird to say, but he was actually making watches with Chapek, and then, I don't know, they had some kind of, I forget the story, they had some kind of falling out, and, uh, you know, they both went on their own, but, you know, he is, Chapek himself actually made a ton of different watches historically that are really impressive, and, yeah, they kind of started a, started their own watch band. They have another one that's really nice, it's called the K de Bird. And they have it in uh, an adventuring val. I think it's amazing. Hold on. Actually, there's a video of it. Let me pull up the video. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. I mean, I think this just looks phenomenal. That's sick. I don't love this handset, but you could change the handset. I think this looks amazing. Launched to commemorate the opening of the first factory boutique in Geneva will be available at the factory boutique as well as authorized retailers. The dial registers and the dial itself, the quartz of entry material, sometimes known as goldstone, has ma- the one thing I dislike about this is it has the date of the week indicator, but not a date, which doesn't make sense. You're right. I, I, don't, get that. I don't get that at all. And the movement is super nice as well. Obviously, it's hand finished, really nice beveling, boot screws, frosted bridges, seven day power reserve, man and wine. Really nice. We got Roy B with a $5 super chat saying, Best all around is Spice Bomb. I'm buying a spice tomorrow for Monday. All around. Spice Bomb is more like winter fragrance, no? Uh, he wants to know best all around Spice Bomb, like you know, there's different versions. Uh, P- spice oh. Bomb Extreme, got spice bomb the one with the gold, the gold label. And, uh, deceiving name because it's actually not extreme it's less extreme than the original spice bomb it's right. more it's much more smooth um the all it's, it's always going to be a wintry scent there is um a summery version it's like a green bottle right not really not really that good but I, if you're buying now like i would say either find the vintage bottle like the one i just uh sold to omar from back in the day and it was strong um different formulation than now but if you're going to buy a brand new bottle from like a like a department store i would get the uh spice bomb extreme the gold the gold uh packaging one it's much smoother it's got a little more vanilla it's nice there we go jj knows this stuff better than i do that's for sure so do you have do you see any spice bomb in your uh reserve collection or do you just did you sell off your last bottle i sold it off to omar the last one it was pretty much like 90 percent full that was from like 2014. It was a. And they don't they don't make them like they used to. You know, I'll put it to you that way. That was the old juice. You could see the colors different. It's like a darker color in there. Um, it's just not really my favorite type of fragrance. I don't like like even like the rehab. Did you buy my rehab cap? Right, I did. Yeah, even that that kind of like spice bomb. You kind of have. Well, you don't like that one. No, no, I like it. But <laughs> why, why? Why is he? <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, Kat. <laughs> this is called diplomacy. Ready? <laughs> no, I really did. No, I loved it. Um, but Spence, or our mutual friend, like he hooked me up with that uh, rapport box, as you know. And right. he was, you know, how he's trying a bunch of different fragrances and whatnot. I, I liked it. I wore it a few times. Um, I got a lot of vanilla out of it. I didn't get spice. Like, I didn't get tobacco at all. Even though it's supposed to be like a tobacco vanilla, I got pure vanilla. I felt, like you did, that the um, Parfums de Molly Herod was better. Like, I would always wear the Herod. If I had to reach, I would pick that nine, 99 times out of 100. So what it I did... Zero, has zero tobacco. That's the thing. It's not even in the note breakdown. I don't understand why... Is is it actually a tobacco fragrance or is it supposed to be? Talking about Herod? There's, no, no, we're talking about no. rehab. There's zero tobacco in this. It's because it's the accord. When a bunch, when you put a bunch of base notes and middle notes and top notes together, they form an accord, and the accord, like the combination, will remind you of, of 
uh, smell like. I have a tobacco smell. Yeah, okay, I got you. Yeah, like a, sweet, a Swedish tobacco, right? And so, and I've watched a couple of uh, YouTubers for, in the fragrance community basically say they were getting a tobacco or a sweet tobacco, and um, I was getting mostly vanilla, but it was it dried down into a really pleasant scent. Um, it's just that I like Tarot better. Um, so I ended up uh, giving him a good deal on it. So it's on its way to Canada. It's been, it, I shipped it about a week ago. Um, you know, bloody bottle. I'll be there in about two months. Kind of as a thank you for, yeah, right. It'll show up by after the truckers move out. Right, yeah. Exactly. Um, so yeah, it was kind of a little quid pro quo because he gave me a great deal on that box. And I know he loves uh, Initio. He wanted to try a bunch of Initio. So he blind bought it. Yeah. Omar said, I already sold it to somebody else for 300 Thanks, JJ. Uh, I <laughs> last time. Mike Davis, correct. I got a great deal from JJ, and then I gave, I in turn, right. returned the favor. It's quid pro quo. You know, you pay, right. pay it forward. Mike Davis saying, watch enthusiasts are the shareholder. It ain't no normal kicks are okay. So they are shareholders. I wasn't sure 100% how it worked, Mike, to be fair. So I didn't want to say something and then put my foot in my mouth. Uh, George J said, Juan's longer kicks this watch. And then, yeah, I, the, the long is just nicer course but it's you know like listen the traffic is still nice for the price but it is you know it is cheaper long obviously goes above and beyond like you just can't compare you know what i mean topic is a great watch brand they make terrific watches but they're no a long a end zone you know there's just yeah uh, i just sorry, but, can't find one for on the retail anyway right now that watch yeah no 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 so Todd brings up a funny point, the Chopek Antarctic Ratchapon. Now, we brought this up before, remember? And Ari just completely ruined it for us. Remember, Ari? Here we go. You want to point it out? Oh, the bicycle. Oh, the bicycle. <laughs> the bicycle watch. <laughs> yeah, it was, like, it's, it's, it was like... Once you see it, you cannot... Hold on. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll get a different version of it. It's this totally a bicycle. But this is a completely oh. the bicycle watch. <clears throat> this is the chain in the middle. You got the two yeah. wheels. You got the head yeah. of the person. You know, the the back he's cycling these are his arms like you, it's literally the bicycle it was the watch. first thing i saw yeah very first thing and he he just blurted that out right and i'm like okay it's time to move on all right so yeah that's a buzz kill buzz yeah kill. we just hate this one from <laughs> todd asking him, what is a spice bomb it's a it's a tea it's a type of tea no i'm just kidding omar says original spice bomb formulation is niche level good mm. there we go we got the uh, wizard in the chat. The fragrance by uh, victor and ralph Hey, jump on, Wizard. I'll drop the link. There we go. Whoa, wizard. Roy B says, give me a deal on the Reverso JJ. Ooh. Have to talk to my representation, Marco. <laughs> 7,500 the deal. That's a killer What's the, deal. Yeah, 7,500 is the deal, no? I don't even I think you can you get it for cheaper on Chrono. There I've he is. We got the week, week, 82. Week. I think it's cheapest. Hold and on. That was see. before things got high. Jager Lacoutre. Let's look it up. Where uh, what is it called? Transparency here. Let's get full transparency. Let's see what they're going. Right, JJ. I mean, I put it. I, I want to know because I did, put it, I did put it in like a review for who was it? it was Basil's Basil's right? I recommended it to him or was it Basil? Yeah, it was because I don't think there's a better watch you can get. Um, not for the price. Okay, so sixty. Oh, we got it. He just countered in the chat. Oof, I think this is a little rough, especially because it's from China. So who knows what you're getting with yeah, the condition? Throw that out. Yeah. Throw it out. Yeah, we can throw that out. That and then we got 7,900, which is the next best option. And again, from China, not very many oh, reviews. Man. No idea what you're from getting. China, you don't know what you're getting. You have to ship it from China. You hope you're lucky you get yeah, it. Yeah, you're gonna have to pay import duties and taxes. I mean, right. so throw you're it looking out. at nine grand right there by the time you're done. Yeah, and it's from China. Oh, we which got. Is Actually, somebody joining us. Hello. I don't know if I'm supposed to be. Hello, McLovin. Ooh. I would, oh, no. He just froze. Did, did you do a face check before it's you let him on? Yeah, yeah. His face is on. His face is on. I got... Oh, here we go. He's joining back in from another. You do a carrot check? <laughs> yeah, we definitely did a carrot check. Carrot check. Hello, <laughs> McLovin. How are you, man? No, he's... Oh, that's too bad. McLovin. Oh, no. And we can't hear him. I wanted to hear an update on the oak prices. Where is it? <laughs> right. Hey, I paid for the super chat and he did it. You should have seen it. What's that? Oh, there he is. Now I see him. The Pigsy, the Pugsy, the Bobby Google. The, he oh, went there he is. Hello, he went on. 
for 20 bucks, he said it. There he is. There he is, but he's muted. Oh, here he is. Oh, no, he just left. Man. Um, the wizard. Here we go. Do good, Ted. Ari has ruined more watch industries than Swatch. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. What are you going to do? Yeah. Full on John says, then you've got the longest eye work that looks like a fat kid in a t shirt. Right. I'm sure if we look hard enough, there's a, there's, there's a, oh, we got Roy B saying six, I don't know, 6,900 is a little, that's a little soft. That's less I mean, than, that's more than I pay, less than I paid for it. I mean, it's, I mean, I'm, again, I'm first 70, of all, you can't even find it. And is there anywhere else that you can find it? Like, hold on. I'm, I'm at right. 72. So Roy's got to do a little bit better than that. Hmm. 73. Yeah, I mean, if you factor in, uh, just we'll think yeah, on it a little bit. I don't, I don't want to have live negotiation. Yeah, now. let's not do a live negotiation, right? Good idea. Here he is, McLovin. Hello. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. No. Okay. Hello. I don't know. No, sorry, buddy. No, no nice I to see you, you though. Nice to see you. We got Jim Little in the chat. We gotta sort that out. Maybe he's messing with us. Press a <laughs> few buttons over there. There he goes. No. <laughs> um. Yeah. But yeah, I mean the grand count. Like I'm looking at the 1942, right? I mean, you think about it. It's even better value than a 1942 because you're getting a watch from. Okay, sure, it doesn't have Geneva seal, whatever. You know, it is what it is. It's not a huge deal, but. I mean, you're still getting a Manuwine piece from JLC in a reversal case, which is, you know, timeless, iconic, triple calendar, plus you get a moon face, so it's actually more complicated than this. I mean, I think it's amazing. <laughs> McLovin says, F YouTube. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. McLovin, if anything, join us in the after show, and uh, we can try and, and sort, sort it out. Yeah, we'll get you. Uh... Can't hear anything on iPhone. Yeah, you probably need headphones. That's the problem. I need headphones. But yeah, we sir, how's it going? Uncle Stefano, how's it going, What's man? What's going on, nephew? How are you, boys? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, oh, man. Oh, I see some new background on Master JJ's shelves. Oh, what do you yeah, see? Yeah, he's what got the fragrances spot? back up, right? Yeah. What do you spot, what do you spot there? Do you spot the Wizards box? Oh, or? I spot the God tier box. Right. Yeah, you sent me that. And, uh, then I have the Zerzhov. Uh, oh, I did. Right. I sent you that. Yeah, with the stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah, with a bunch of goodies. Yeah, yeah. Stefano knows how to take care of somebody. Let me tell you. He yeah, sent me. Yeah, he does. He does. Stefano's very generous. He's the. He's, he's the, the best. Man. He's the best. He hooked me up with oh, the Oh, brother, I'm picking up your piece on Saturday. Oh, for me? I will ship it on Monday for you. Beautiful. That's my. Uh, he's hooking me up with my PRX, so I'm. Uh, so I can be part ah. of the. So I can be part of the crew because I know you all threatened to kick me off unless I got a PRX. Right. So it's done. Sorry, Ari, it's been nice having you on, but you know you got to go back. Oh, 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 <laughs> I, on that Ari. note, guys, I also have to kick. <laughs> See you all later. Yes, we got GMT in the chat. Full on John saying, "Cue the commercial." I mean, I don't have it in. Hold on, I, I gotta, I gotta get it. One second. Uh, so, yeah, like basically, uh, uh, GMT is sponsoring everyone's shows. That's it. Oh, is he? From now on, yes. Here we go. Here we go. There's only one commercial you'll ever play. Here we go. Guys, we will see you in a minute. Come and get it! 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 You won't regret it! In 2022, at Tip Top Snack Bar! I'm telling you, man, like, you know, they're going to wonder why all these people are coming over from Canada, like going to going to going to going to Darwin just to eat shawarma and then fly back. Suvlaki, suvlaki. Suvlaki, pardon me, not shawarma, suvlaki. I meant to say suvlaki. It's okay. Same shit. <laughs> we forgive you. But shawarma sounds good, man. Shawarma. Dude, I would love a shawarma. Right? I actually had a bowl of honey nut churros right before the stream. I would go for a shawarma. No they they <laughs> <laughs> you know, they stopped selling the honey nut Cheerios, the honey oat crunch. You know that yeah. that that they I've stopped selling it. Those, yeah, they were, they were, I get it from the states, though. 
You could still get them from the states. Is that well, like honey the bunches port, of oats? I've seen that yeah. promo, so yeah. I go right over. No, the but place. I wasn't sure if they've stopped selling it entirely. I know you can't get it in Canada anymore. That's a no. recent thing. The past month yeah. or two. Yeah. You want? I can send you that too. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're good. We're okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, wizard. All right, we got Basil's Bezels asking the hard hitting question: Is JJ still JJ if he sells the yeah. Jayola Cultura? Yes. I'll, I'll always, it'll always I, be JJ. Right. It'll always, it'll always be JJ. Oh, what could be my new name be? Let's see. Right. Well, nah. I'm, never, I'm definitely going to sell it at one point. It's definitely going. Uh, right. I we can't call you GH for gentlemen's hand. JJ is just, it's here to stay. You know what I mean? He will always be JJ well, in our hearts. I got the food a long time ago anyway. It's always just JJ. Right. Tiny foot, something like that, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We oh, got yeah. Jim Little. Ooh, this is a great question. Here we go. Jim, you should submit this for a review. I'd love to do a review of the collection. So in my main collection of a blue Seamaster 300, the new Hesley Speedy, Ooh. the new Polar Explorer 2, the Z Blue Milgauss, and the Bruce Wayne. Thoughts on where to go next? I mean, this is an easy one. You're missing a dress watch, and you're missing a calendar complication. I think 7,500 7, JJSW, the JLC Reverso. No, but on, on a serious note, actually, if you're asking me what's a good watch, I think you need a dress watch. You've got... Two I would GMTs. agree. That's you got I a agree. Z Blue Milgauss, you got a diver, you got your chronograph, you're just missing a GMT or sorry, a GMT, a dress watch, to be honest. So what do you so what do you uh so what do you think in terms of a dress watch? What would go with this collection? Right, that's why I said the, the JLC reverse oh, 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 calendar. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, okay, I didn't I didn't I didn't hear you that. Sorry. <laughs> no, Mar Bro, you Mar gotta get it before it before in his last couple of videos, the people who need dress watches, and he gives such a compelling argument. I'm like I should just fucking keep this. What am I giving up? Yeah. What? <laughs> it's, uh, it's hard because, I mean, you have a Breguet, which is like, listen, I love JLC, but it's not, like, it's just not, you know, like Won't when would say you what I'm it? getting? Don't slip. No, no, no. I won't slip. I won't slip. No I, slip could, I could hear you in, in mid-sentence. You know, right? No slippage. No slippage. No slippage. The reveal is tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah. That's good question. Um, but yeah, Jim, I think you got to get it. Listen, whatever dress watch, I think you need a dress piece. Like, I, I know there's no real dress watch nowadays, but it's nice to have, you know what I mean? Like that nice de facto watch you can just wear to a special event. Like you need that special watch. Like Juan has that beautiful longa. I mean, fuck, you know, like for me, JJ, that breguet, if the Jorn comes in, great. But the breguet is fucking, it's so, it's so nice. You Jim, know what I mean? I would recommend the Cartier Sandals. Ah, Santos Cartier, is beautiful. I love the Santos. Obvious, you know, yeah. like it's such an obvious choice in my opinion. Get a nice dress watch, like a, a dedicated dress watch. Like, or what's his name? Uh, Cap has the paddock. I want to get the 1942. I don't think Ari, you have, you don't have a dress watch, do you? Not really. Not a pure uh, dress watch. Not a tr no, not a, well. I do have an old. Uh, I do have an old Longines uh, dress watch. Uh, okay. But yeah, but nothing. Yeah, nothing new or modern. Oh, Jesus. Thanks, so yes, he is the man. We love Uncle Stefano. Andres seconding that, saying Uncle Stefano is the man. Thank exactly. You, thank you. Yes, sir. Roy B. Oh, Roy JJ, you got a dress watch. You got a, a Patek Philippe, don't you? Yeah, but it's a chronograph. So, I mean, technically. All right, then you have your, uh, the your day. The day that yeah. is known oh, as man. the most iconic dress watch for a man. Well, that's gold, part of gold that is. Yeah, yeah. Even the, even if you want to say that's a casual dress watch, and then the formal ones, I have either the Breguet or yeah. I could even wear the Patek, even though it's a chronograph. I mean, uh, no, well, you get in your FP Jordan, that'll be the ultimate dress watch. Uh, honestly, I, I wear my Datejust as my as a dress watch most of the time. Oh yeah, the Datejust dress watch. All right, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. dressier. Well, watch, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I have enough to where I could I could sell off the JLC at this point. That's the only reason. I'm just trying to consolidate. It's like too many watches. I don't need. Whatever it is, 12, 13, 14 watches, plus all the other ones. You know, I looked the other day, I'm at like 10, 12, 22, and eight. I'm at 30 watches right now. What? I mean, only 13 or 14 are like, you know, expensive ones. The other ones are like, you know, yeah, only 13. Yeah. Oh, who cares? You <laughs> Where's your cut off for the other ones? <laughs> the Auris, uh, you know, like stuff like that. Anything like under five. Yeah, times. you know, a couple thousand bucks, nothing. Just throw it in the. <laughs> JJ, JJ's on like, a, yeah, five thousand dollars shitter. That's yeah. He has like a destination wedding. That's how everyone like a Rolex that, sub at retail. It's like yeah, you know, those don't really I have my cutoff is ten thousand. Anything. Yeah, yeah. 
Roy B with a five dollar super chat saying, "What's the Weezer's take on the market of steel sports Rolex, Pepsi, and Hulk way overrated? What do you think?" Prices are way insane. Now, I would say, you know, I I respect that you asked me a question, but if I tell you sell your watch now and then go up, they're gonna say fuck the wizard. If I tell you keep on to your watch and then it goes down five grand, fuck the wizard. So I say do what you feel best. You need the money, sell it. You don't need, don't. I don't know, not really. Yeah. And nobody knows. Today it's so volatile. Uh, in seventy-two hours, I got four different prices on a Pepsi. So from twenty-eight nine to thirty-one five. <laughs> That's a range. What are you That's getting a for a range, Hulk? man? What are you getting for a Hulk these days, Stefano? What's the range? I haven't asked, but I've been seeing the dealer chats go from uh 22,000 euros to 26,000 euros so 25,000 dollars to 28,000 but it depends if it's mint unworn new old stock if it's the last year it was made full box papers nowadays they give you the fucking watch like this with the card that's it they don't sell the box because they sell the box three four hundred bucks i used to buy boxes 100 150 i can't touch a real rolex box with the leaflets under 300 dollars today no way plus shipping Plus shipping. I'm selling my box. It's gone. It's yours. <laughs> what the hell? Three hundred dollars? Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm for telling a you. plastic yeah. box, it's costing like two dollars to make in China. Give you a watch kidding? for the box unless it's super, like a uh, solid gold Daytona, platinum Daytona, uh, meteorite dials. They'll give you the box because it's oversized. It's large box or right. extra large. The regular okay. boxes for GMT, Submariners, they just they fucking sell them. 300 doesn't matter medium small or large 300 dollars minimum unbelievable yep. for a box Rol for we're a box. get to the point where a rolex box is going to be as much as a uh, prx yeah <laughs> Next thing yeah. That we're selling the hang oh they do they i buy hang tags you want red or you want green the green one's 30 bucks the red one's 20 bucks for the older models <laughs> So Seriously, mine, mine all come with yes. mine all come with box papers, hang tags. It even has a little clear bezel thing, boxes, everything. Out you of have box. the yeah. bezel protector. Ten wow. bezel protectors are two hundred euros. Figure that. What? Out. <laughs> yes, Jesus. the dealers don't give them to you, so they got uh, a, well, Europe and Asia. They get them, but in North America, they take so it off. Let me ask you this, Wiz, because I do. I am interested in hearing this now. Federico made a video, right? Like of like some slime ball things dealers will do, right? Oh, Which is yes. like. So like they'll take out two links and then sell yes. the links, right? And sell the links. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's oh yeah, that's yeah, got to be going to a crappy place. My guy, I don't even have to. He puts them in a separate little bag for me. Puts it in another envelope. Here's your links. Don't lose them. Everything. Yeah, yeah. that's your AD. We're talking you. about pre-owned dealer. So yeah. pre-owned dealer will get in a watch. They'll take off two a links immediately. Yes. Right. They take off two links immediately and then sell the watch. Insane. Yeah. Marceau I don't even tell you, oh, you got a big yeah. wrist, and this is the way it came. I'll have to order you some. 250 a stainless steel link. Look at this. Toyota Mo says, if you are in the market for a watch and your AD is giving you the run round, you should hit up Uncle Seven. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 
David T asks, would the Rolex Day Date be a dress watch? In today's today's yes. world, yes. I think so, absolutely. Yes. In today's world, yes. Yeah. Um Ooh, look at this. Confused investor says, I need to consolidate as well. Too many hoes in the collection. Wow. <laughs> There's a whole other problem. You know what's funny, right? I think I talked about uh, to four people about downsizing the collection today. I'm not even kidding about them and me downsizing our collection. It's kind of messed up. Everybody's kind of downsized. Juan came on the stream saying, you know, he downsized his collection, upgrade. Like, it's cra- we're getting to a point where, where prices are so sky high. It's like, you know, it d- just doesn't make sense. I'm downsizing the number of watches I have, but it's still right. the same amount of money in the watches. They're just True. I'm getting better watches, so yeah. I, I'm getting less of them. Instead of having 10... Higher watches, quality than quantity. Right. I'd rather have, like, you know, out of eight watches, like four really good ones and then four more wearable, you know, where I don't, you know, because you got to have a range. I, I, I find people's collections when they're all kind of similar prices very strange to me, like, I'd rather hear, have a couple of really good ones and then a couple I don't mind wearing when I don't want to wear the really expensive ones. You know what I mean? Like, right. you know, yeah. kind of gives you more range. But I, for a Rolex I, don't, I just don't want to have more than eight watches anymore. I just don't. You guys you know, know to... Mark, I don't know if you know, that the coffins are discontinued. They don't ship in coffins anymore, Rolex. They ship right, in right. cardboard. How much is a coffin? I have one. I have I have one. I'll be I'll sell if it's two. If Twenty it's bucks. Be, I give you. There you go. How much? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. The fu- I thought you were going to. It for ten euros plus shipping. Okay, no, forget it. Forget it. Then I'll oh, keep it. I'll keep it because it came with the Bruce it. Wayne. Like it came with the Bruce Wayne. Like I like having the set. I even have the bezel protector and everything. So like I like I prefer having the full set then, and sell it. I, I, if you would have said a hundred bucks, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> you sold it. It's out of here. Right. Forget it. I'm, I'd get gone. six from Europe for a hundred bucks. Right? No, it's not. Forget it. Bright blue comment says it's even worse than that. They'll sell the links yes. back to you. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's oh, what I was yeah. saying. Yeah. Um, George J is saying Uncle Seven. I paid five hundred for a date eight forty link. Is that a good price? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Today's price. Uh, whenever you got it, yeah, it's very good. A platinum right. link today is twenty five hundred dollars for a Daytona. Fuck! I'm gonna start selling my links. I think I got like two square ah. links. Dude, bucks. I took off so many links on man on the Bruce Wayne. I think I have like four or five links taken off. <laughs> it's crazy. I what size is your off. wrist? It's Holy like shit! Six and a quarter. I have a smaller awesome. wrist. Yeah. Awesome. No, not four. But I probably have like four links removed. I think. Yeah. I recommend this watch for a wrist as small as twelve centimeters. Yeah. It fits any. It's forty-five millimeters and fits any wrist of any size, guys. Great unisex option for your. Partner. Marco's like, no, you can keep the bracelet. I just need the head of the watch. Yeah, pretty much. Right. No links. No links. <laughs> I can order two links for you. They sell you the links they removed. <laughs> oh, Mr. GMT came in late. Saying, Who the hell is the sexy guy in the middle? This is Big Juan again. Juan, thank you so much. It's been awesome having you on the stream. It is. It's thank his first time here, but Thanks, it's guys. been a great show. We missed Perth Super Chat up there. Oh, shit. I missed Perth. Yeah. Perth Luxury with the $2 Super Chat for the buy Todd Levin, a Tissot PRX fund. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, I would like to see Todd get a PRX to be honest. Let me, let me DM him on Instagram. You better get a PRX now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They're right next to the Flute 2 4. Yeah. Right. It'll, it'll look great next to a George Daniels Millennium, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh boy, Jim! Never selling the Polar Explorer Two is my favorite, even more than the Bruce Wayne. I love the up down suggestion. Though. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's 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 hard to suggest anything in today's market. To be honest, even dress watches. Like, I loved Longa, but I loved Longa two years ago when their prices were you know 40 percent off retail. Nowadays, it's like maybe you're lucky if you get 20 percent off. You know, their no, major models. Either, you're not. Right. That if you get 10, 20 percent off, if you get 10 percent off retail, honestly, you did very well, in my opinion. Very like, well. Like Longa is becoming crazy expensive. Vacheron, right? I pulled up the 1942 earlier. That's gone up like four or five thousand last six months alone. Uh, a nope. bunch of other Vacheron. It's long though, like even just I don't think people even care about getting the discounts. They're like like he said before, 
you just want to be able to get a purchase history so you can down the road get a hot model. So it's oh, like this you're, not even asking you're, anymore, you know? you're just asking yeah, you're just asking them to keep you in consideration for uh you know, whatever, an eighteen fifteen chrono or whatever, you know, any, any other like you know, pretty hot model. I was at uh, I was at my boutique um last month and uh the Bastron had zero stainless steel sports watches and, and long I had nothing but ladies pieces. And uh, mm -hmm. 1815 was a year and a half wait with a like $20,000 purchase history. Crazy. I guess it's stupid. Yeah. And you but know what's crazy? I heard two, two purchases from an AD in Canada. Got to buy two longer to get on the list, and it's about a year waiting to get it. For what watch? Wild. The Odysseus. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one's. Which, I mean, it's not even nice, though. That's the I only like the first year, I the agree. first generation, man. You can so, take the, the bracelet off. Right. What's his yep. name? Um, I think it was Russell. He sent us a bunch yes. of pictures before. Um, hold on. I'll try and find them. But he has the original one. Like the first 600 or so are uber collectible because you could take off the bracelet yes. and put it on a strap. Yeah. He had this orange strap here. here and they're selling for about 20 25% above list because of that, because now they're high in demand. There we go. Like I think on oh, the, yeah, off the bracelet, it looks so awesome. much nicer. Awesome. So much yeah. nicer. Yeah. Yep. On the bracelet, it's hideous. Ugh. I don't like it's the bra it's because it's an integrated bracelet, but it's like a jubilee type bracelet. No, no, it doesn't no, look yeah. good. It's a stiffer. It's it's stiff. Yeah. It's uh, yucky. Yeah. Up down 20k, below 20k. Good luck now. Yeah, I mean. George says watch box, but it's not only watch box. So, oh, yeah. FP Jorn, I think FP Jorn kind of became a beast of its own. You know, I don't even yeah, think watch box has did. really control over that market anymore. I think they probably auctioned off a lot yeah. of the pieces they own. Um, but Longa, like, I know it's not only watch box. Roman even said he's buying. Oh, hell yeah. So, as far as I know, since COVID started, they cut down their production by a third. So, they were making like 6,000. Now they're making only about 2,000 watches a year. And apparently they want to stay around that two, maybe 3,000 number going forward. So they're only becoming more exclusive, even harder to get. Yes. And yeah, it's going to be – I mean, we'll see how the, how the market evolves. It's going to be great. Like even the Lumen models, I know you're a fan of those, Juan, right? Amazing. Love the Dude, I was able like, to see all five together for the first it's time. It's fucking crazy how those have – You couldn't give those away, and now everybody wants them. It's crazy. Yeah. The Lumen? Yeah, the Lumen. Insane. The honey. I'm in love with the honey. Insane. Yeah, but, but did it's you not insane. tell me boutiques? No ADs in Canada? It's, Only boutiques tell the, the honey. Watches, camera, lenses says, does Wizard ship to USA? How do I contact Yes, from USA? Messina, New York. From Messina, New York. Yep. Yeah, I mean, JD, you That way there's him. no customs, no duties, no nothing. Right. JJ has bought from him. Toyota Mo, I know, has bought yeah, the 212 from no him. So yeah, nobody. No, yeah, he, you, you're fine. You can. How do how do they contact you? Instagram, right? Yeah, justintime.ca. There you go. That's how you get in, in touch with them. And again, if you're in the U.S., no problem at all. You should be able to uh, to get it from him. Yeah, George J says. I think he sent me here. I'll pull up another one. He sent me one on a blue strap too. It's really nice. Oh Super man, nice. that's a gorgeous watch. Yes. I think it's like so this. much nicer on the strap. With the bracelet, it's so ugly. Yeah. Here we go. We're just talking. Oh, These are my. a few lumens. Zeitwerk lumen. The, this is probably my favorite lumen. Ooh. This is nuts. I mean, this is so nice. Oh, See, you gravitate towards those kind of dials, Marco. I'm not the biggest fan of them, honestly. They're probably my least favorite longest, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, is the lumen series. But I still think they're super, like, they're crazy nice, you know? How can you hate on something like this? That's I mean, it, baby. Like, that's it. That's it. That's that's so sick. I think wow. this is sick. This is sick. That's sick. Yeah. So Which this one, this, this yeah. guy's a big uh, longer guy. Oh, yeah. He has a great, I've pulled up his collection. This is his longer collection. So he's got two the Lumens. I forget what this model is. Yeah, that's the pour le Turbion. Mérite, Turbion. Yeah, this is crazy. This has a chain fusée. I mean, this is just this is a Grail watch. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Actually, the movement was actually made. We we brought up Gronfeld, right? 
yeah. before. The movement was actually made by Gronfeld. It's the Renault and Poppy movement back when they were oh, working wow. at Gronfeld. It's crazy here. I'll pull yeah. up a picture of it. He was actually the one telling me about it was Russell, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. It's this one right here. And then... There we go. There it is. Wow. Yeah, so you see it'll have this is actually the chain and fuse right here, which is just crazy. And then that obviously you got the turbion. Oh my god, this is just on another level. It's just crazy nice. Actually, I think this is the this is the actual movement of that watch, but yeah. Fuck. Oh my god, it's so nice. It is so nice. But yeah, guys, we've been going now for an hour, 25 minutes. I want to thank everybody for jumping on. I'm going to wrap this puppy up. I want to thank, of course, JJ, our man, JJ LeCou from the LeCou Studios. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. we got the one and only, the captain. Thank you so much for joining, as always. RG, as always. Appreciate you jumping on. The Wizard. Thanks so much, Uncle Stefano. we got Wings and Watches. And Thanks Big Juan, man, thank you very much for joining us. It's been a pleasure to have you on tonight, man. And of course, Big Juan, how old? What are you? Six five, six six? <laughs> no, I'm I'm only six foot. I just have six always people call me Big Juan. Six foot, six foot. Oh, yeah. oh six, six foot. No, he six, looks foot. Like he's six foot. I wish I was six five. Oh, okay. You look tall <laughs> playing in football the right picture. now. Six foot five. And guys, oh, please be sure to, to upvote see. on the way out. And I just want to say, of course, as always, you know, the most important thing is you just you got to wear your watches. You know what I mean? You Especially must the PRX. wear the watches. Especially the PRX. Take care, everybody. Have PRX. a good one. Go to the